Okay, here. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, about coming up on 6.30 my time in the morning, and uh, time to go out here and play uh, my daily uh, amateur society round. Yeah, so I finished third at the uh, Salzburg. Okay. Yeah, nice spread there. Everybody had a chance. And today we're heading out to the uh, Bombadil at Mirkwood. <clears throat> That's it. Uh, it's one of, uh, what's that, neuter, yeah, it's neuter's course, I think, uh, one of the few he's done with, uh, softer, uh, conditions. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, we're heading out to Panamint Park for the T.E. Lawrence Oasis Classic. It's a midday course. Uh, over the weekend, we got a two-rounder here at the Bedinor Chase Country Club. Uh, it's one of CA Hockey's, uh, uh, new course there. We're giving a try here. He's a member, so we're giving that a shot over the weekend. Uh, then Monday, we're Bright Lights Big City at the Bright Met Golf Club. Uh, let me see. Tuesday, we're at the Bolton Open the UK course uh, for the Officer Joe Bolton Classic. <clears throat> and then uh, we are. Uh, Wednesday, we're going out to uh, High Plains Drifter Tournament at the Unforgiven Tour Course. Yeah, this Monday one, that's a nine holer, so we're going around twice. Uh, you know, society, we, you know, just, you know, put up, uh, you know, 18 holes of golf every day. That's how that works. So, uh, <clears throat> so again, we're heading out to the uh, Mirkwood Course today. As usual, I'll, looks like I'll be the first one out. Maybe somebody will start the round after I start. Uh, who knows? All right, first, the course statistics. Uh, 18 holes, par 72. Fairies are normal hardness. Greens are normal hardness. Green speeds will be medium fast. So they're going to be somewhere in, I guess, the 160 to 170 range. We'll see. Uh, three uh, tee boxes to four pins here uh, for the society I like to keep things under uh, 7,000 yards for the most part because some guys are using the uh, uh, player clubs um, I'm just you know I'm using the tours uh, either my swing is on that day or it's not so it's one round uh, entry fees for our dailies are only 50 credits uh, uh, we've been getting you know four, five, six guys playing every day, so uh, there is a purse there, it just doesn't show up. And as usual, we're just going to see what else the designer has done for the benefit of the viewers and anybody, you know, playing. Uh, Neuter generally, you know, puts some really nice looking stuff out there, but it's rare when he goes softer on the uh, conditions. Little leg. Sorry, that's some yeah, normal. Yeah, I don't know. I guess he's coming around. See, firm, firm, normal. Yeah, okay. Another one. He's done a he's done a nice stadium there uh, with a pyramid. This little legs looks interesting. Uh, it's had 114 plays. It's been highly rated. Yeah, most of his stuff, you know, his you know at least a four star rating. You know, regardless, and most people are playing with the Scout Zoom and stuff anyway, so. Yeah, Misty Mountains. He, he, he's a talking fan like I am. Misty Mountains, Shire, Mirkwood, so. But he, he always does a lot of detail work. That Valley of the Kings replay, but that's, that's a firm. You know, it's, it's not an easy course, but it's really attractive. So that's it for that, and uh, let's see what course challenges do we have. Yeah, it hasn't had enough plays uh, to get all 15 there, but uh, there's 100 credits for a first round, uh, 50 credits for a long drive. 
150 for, for at least one birdie, hit the fairways. So there's, there's a few uh, credits to be made here today. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll pay off my 50 credits to get in. Without further ado, uh, get on out there. So, yeah, so we're playing, okay, yeah, from the 6,700 yard uh, course uh, T set to the number one pin, which is usually the, the default. Uh, when you're using the designer, the number one is usually the one that's like in the middle of the green and whatever else you add is uh, just to complicate it, so, okay. Anybody's ever seen any of my streams know I play slowly and deliberately and I take a break at least one at the turn, uh, if not more. It's first thing in the morning, drinking my coffee and uh, yeah, duty calls sometimes. He said duty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for some golf. I'm John, John McCarthy. So glad you could join us, and I can't wait to get things started here on the TGC Network. Our next event is one round only. It's all on the line here today, folks. So let's get down to that first tee and see how this unfolds. I could probably shut him off now. You can do that. I always kept him on because he would tell you. <clears throat> if the ball is above or below your feet, you know, if you were on a bad lie, which is mostly obvious, but we're playing with the uh, put lie, so we can check it ourselves. Other than that, he's only good for some company every now and then. Again, everything is nicely put together, nice uh, smooth lines here where the rough meets the, the light rough, and where it meets the fairway, where it meets the green, so... Again, and there's you know plenty of scenery out here if you want to take a look. Uh, let's see. We also leave the uh, putt approach camera on here, so you, you can actually do this. You can take a look at what he's done. So, yeah, all kinds of stuff working here. Yeah, you know, nicely put together. Yeah, you know, nice detail. Kinds of possibilities ahead here, folks. Looking forward to it. Uh, how the hell? I'm gonna guess he's not that happy about that shot. That would be uh, for certain, sir. I don't know if we can get it out of here. We'll give it, give it a try here. Very happy about now, if I was playing smart, I would have, you know, I, I would have, you know, pitched out of the bunker or something like that. But you know, I've been working. That's not that wasn't a hybrid club or anything. So.
I think they pulled that one a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played it to do that, though. Just couldn't get the distance on it. It's about a 10 footer from here. Yeah, green speeds are 166. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we got failure on this the very first hole. From the cup. Okay. It's a good tee shot, just at the wrong place. The day off at two over it's the very first hole. I got to come back from two strokes. <clears throat> and now let's see what the second hole has in store. Nice stuff there, putting the Merkwood name up there on the cliff. You know, all kinds of detail around the hole. Nice little uh, peninsula green there. Appears to be heading for the fairway here. Well, that'd be just a nice change of pace. Not by much though. <clears throat> One hundred thirty-five yards to the pin. Yeah, against a bit of wind here. Hmm. Just might not be enough club against that wind. I don't know. It's soft. Let's, uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. That looks like about right. Looking good. Okay, that works. <clears throat> this putt's for birdie. Okay. Let's nice come back from the first hole. And plus one on the day after. A nice side work there on the bulkheads. Takes a lot of extra work to do that, and then you put them uh, posts and stuff in there. And now the third hole tee off.
And it's 490, but something tells me I'm not going to be able to take driver off the tee. We'll see. So it looks like it's going to be a... Mm -hmm, 313 up against the wind. Oh, maybe. Okay. With that shot, okay, not and terrible. Two fifteen to the pin. Got around a little too quick on that. Hope it stays dry. Mm, it stays dry. Okay. Pretty dangerous looking lie onto the green. And that putt will drop for birdie. Oh, that was a par and five? I wasn't even paying attention. Down. All right, back to even. Okay. Way to come back. All right, here's the fourth hole. <clears throat> Eight iron or a seven iron. Oh, eight or nine. Yeah, I need this one. That just right against the wind. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Cranked it just a little too like, much. Uh, that shot was pulled a little bit. Okay, well, we need chipping out of this. That he'll move out of the green. <clears throat> to go here. Oh, Ooh, and that was very, very close. That's the park pot. Oh well. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard. I'm going to give myself a little more room to the left. Obviously with the short irons. And now setting up for the par four.
fantastic detail where he's used uh, stairs and stuff and spectator stands and stuff totally totally beautiful and it's 420 I'm not even sure yeah a little bit of wind help in there I'm not even sure This one's looking like uh -oh. it's on the fairway. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Okay, well, that's a good choice. That overhead. Uh, Seventy yards to the pit. Yeah, that overhead kind of lied a little bit there. That seems, that seems to be. Oh yeah, I was reading that farther distance from the water, which could have been God knows how deep. Okay, looks like I lucked out a little bit there. That wind help, and I think that was going to be enough. Wind to the degree, okay. Okay, nice. Right, so you're going to stay up, okay. Well, this one's still He's done nice things there because you can put the people the on green. certain surfaces there. You, you can't even put them in the stands, which they're going to fix in the next game. They're going to have <coughs> spectators built into the uh, viewing stands, but he's, he's really done some nice stuff here. All right, three inches up from 25 feet, and it's not too terrible. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> you dog. Oi. Well, let's see how things are shaping up on the leaderboard. And after that, we'll one over the day. And moving on to the sixth here. So you can, on the stairs, well, you can kind of bury them in your seat or feet are missing there. But, you know, the, the effect works. Bit of a crazy hole, lots of trees in the way. I don't think we can go right at it, can we? Mm. Wow, it's 248. I, I don't know if I would dare that. Need to get it out of there. Got a chance if it doesn't go into the rough. Oh. Huh, this is the light rough. Yeah, right. Poor luck there. You're probably not too happy about that one. That'll be in the bunker. I think 
think that shot might have been pulled off the bat. Sorry. Hmm. one on the day after that one. Okay, and let's see what the seventh has in store. Yeah, the last time I didn't give that enough room to the left, so... Uh, I missed a spot there. Well, maybe he didn't. Seven iron on this one. Uh, I hit that too straight. Uh oh. And let's see Worth. if he re hits or re takes a drop. Yeah. He's definitely in the water. Well, it doesn't give you the drop. I think. Uh. Oh, yeah. Okay. better. Why didn't I do that first time? Well, the approach did find the green, but uh, quite a long distance putt ahead. Just missing. Yeah, I figures it looks a little I uphill uh, going go here, here, so as soon as you get past the hole, of course, it's going to be a little downhill. And a nice putt there. Sitting at plus three for the day after that. Oh, yeah, I was in the water. Oh, well. Yeah, it hasn't gotten enough plays there for the stroke index yet, there, but uh, I'll have to see how that turns out at some point in the future. All right, two more holes, and I'm taking five. And yeah, let's see what the eighth has in store. Get some more coffee and stuff. Tight little tee shot here. Around some trees. Eh, short hole though. This might be a five wood tee shot. Plenty of trouble. 
all the way around in this hole. Ooh, look at the moguls. Okay. Yeah, the wind seems to be helping. This is looking fairway bound. Okay, about 165 yards to the pin. Well, I don't think this is going to be a happy ending, folks. Unfortunately, not enough club on that one. This is going to work, but it's just too short sighted for the floppy, I think. Yeah, all right, it's out of the bunker. Okay. That was poorly done. There's no excuse for that. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was a disaster hole. And about six feet away. And a decent little putt there. Okay, let me take it away here for sure. For the day after that hole. Eighth. Okay, and on to the uh, ninth. Play the ninth here, and I'm going to take a, take a few minutes. Great amount of detail on this course, though. Everything. All right, well, the wind's helping. Probably don't need that much help.
think you'll get a solid hit on that. Yeah, I think you'll like yeah. that. Yeah, I, short, I shorted up the. Uh, yards away. Yeah, shorted up the uh, back swing too much. This is the three iron, I believe. And setting this one up near the green, but in the rough. And I think you'll like that. It's a better shot than what it looked like. Five feet from the cup. Just ah. missing here. You stop. This one's about four feet from the cup. Ooh, it looked close. It just didn't go. That's just too much, Ben. You know, that, that had this too that had too much yellow. Feet. Yeah, it was too much too much yellow on the green. Okay, and now I'll be back. Take a look at the that was disappointing. And after that one, we are currently sitting at six over for the day.
All right, we're back. Oi. Feast of famine on this course. All right, let's see if we can get a few back here on the back nine. Uh, we got a drivable par four there, it looks like. But you're gonna need a long club on a 15th par three. All right, 17 also, okay. Uh, uh, short, short. All right, let's see what we can do here. And let's see what the 10th has in store. Things are a little con yeah, it's a complex course, no doubt. 478 yard par four. Wow. Get some wind here. Sounded off with that swing. Mm, shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> it's gonna kick right. <clears throat> so okay, I took the aim a little to extra to the, to the you know to the right because I knew I was probably gonna crank that a little bit. This pot is for birdie. Break that a little too hard, huh? From twenty feet out. It's about a few feet from the cup. And after that, seven over par for the day. I'm not having a good round here today. Drive will accept it, you know. It's not.
Then I went slow on it. Ah! And he's taking this one through some branches. Well, at least it's dry. Went slow again. Looks like this one's heading for trouble. Ooh, looks like he's going through oh. the branches here. to save power. Twelfth has in store. Oh boy. Ooh, boy. <laughs> wow. That's almost a two club wind. And slow again. It doesn't say slow, but it was slow. And unfortunately, he's gone into the water on this one. There we go. Finally. And that approach has found the green, but uh, there will be a lot of work to do to sink the next putt. Feet from the cup. Mm, oh, come on. Should have held whatever the line was. Oh, well. And that's time to okay, well, look at the leaderboard. Yeah. And after that, it's what it is. It is what it is. Panel. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. Longest par five, but you, you know, okay. a nice little island detail going on there. I do stuff like that too. Uh, sometimes they look that good. Wow.
No, it's, I don't know. See, this is, you know, the, the length doesn't match up to the terrain. It really doesn't. on this one. Definitely looks like this lie is going to be better than the last one. <laughs> Still 300 yards away. Yeah, this 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 hole does not. Yeah, the terrain does not match up to the to the distance. Looks like he's going through the branches here on this one. I'm not sure those are waiting to not go through the branches. Come on, turn left, turn left. This one's about seven feet away. It's about a two-footer. And now let's <clears> take a look at the leaderboard. And 12 over par is the score after that hole. Oh, that's ridiculous. This, uh, <coughs> it's almost like me playing 14. real golf. It's a short hole, but there's no margin for error here. Fairways thin, you got them trees there. More trees.
Okay, this one's looking pretty good. This will put you behind trees. That was a fantastic shot, only it didn't get me anywhere. From 135 yards out. Here is the pitching wedge. From 15 feet. Par there. That was not an easy hole. 12 over is the score after that hole. And setting up now on the 15th. enough club on that one. And sitting uh, right here. It's a green. It probably would have been enough club. short. Oh. Setting up on the 16th tee. Too quick the on it. Cleanest of swings. Too quick on that one. Double cross the, the fade. He is deep into the rough for his next yeah. shot here, folks. Think. Here. I tried to punch it out. Ugh. Oh. 
Yeah, this shot he's taken through the branches. <coughs> Didn't leave me a lot of choice. Fairway after that one. And about 130 yards to the pin. Almost a good shot. Just not enough club on that one. Oh, guys got checked up. Looking like nine feet to the cup. I need a few minutes. And 15 over after that one. Nature calls. Sorry. All right, thanks for your patience. Oh, I totally crapped up this uh, round today. I mean, you know, it, it's you know, it's a complex course. You know, very, very tight, thin fairways, lots of trees, lots of turns and twists, and yeah. And now setting up for the par four tee off. But uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? driving this. 
Yeah, especially with yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh sensing yeah. something was off well, on that I'm swing. Click on it. Taking this through some brush here. You get to a point where you're just getting beat up so bad there, you really don't, uh, don't play it right. Be on the green. Fourteen feet to go. Fourteen feet, five inches down. Oh, yeah, well, I used to make a putt every now and then. And after that one, they are 14 over putt. Hmm. And now, teeing up. Pulled the birdie out of my ass. All right, 18th right. hole. Here we go. Still, you know, nothing but admiration for his, you know, designing skills, you know. As they are, you know, with all this, you know, real world style detail going on there. I mean, it's really a nice looking course. Just, I don't know, just a little overdone. One, one foot long. Oh well. Putt is for birdie. Huh. So the putt. Finished off with a couple of good holes anyway. And with that, we say Got the birdie challenge. Got the first round uh, credits. All right. Uh, hey, six over on the front, seven over on the uh, At least I'm consistent. All right. Well, that's uh, a round for the day at Merkwood, a, a new creation here from the TGC Amateur Society. I don't know. I'd like to rate it higher, but 
And I can't favorite it for sure, but anyway. Really can't favorite it, it's just too complex. And I'm sure there's people that really like that kind of stuff, and they're playing with the scout zoom and stuff like that, and maybe the green grid and, you know, whatever else, you know. All right, so anyway, that's the Bombadil at Mirkwood. Tomorrow with the T. Lawrence uh, Oasis Classic at Panamint. Hockey's Dark Chase uh, two-rounder over the weekend at his new Betty Noir Chase Country Club. I'm not sure where he gets these names from, but uh, he's a club member. He does designs, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, when we finish stuff up, we put it up. Uh, Bright Lights Big City uh, at the Bright Met Golf Club. Uh, that's a member recommendation after we made a donation. Uh, also asked for this one here. He put in close to 20,000 credits. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, trying to run a democracy here at the Bolton Open UK course. And then the High Plains Drifters coming up. The Unforgiven. How you get that High Plains Drifter, Unforgiven. You get the, you know, you know. Iger sanction, you know, you, you get the Eastwood movie uh, tie-ins there. Okay, so that's all for today, folks, as far as golf.